Me my nigga stay, stay loyal, loyal. Me my nigga stay, thankful, loyal, loyal. Me my nigga stay, thankful, thankful for still being here. Me my nigga stay, stay loyal. Gangsta Brazil. It's been a hell of a run. Could have been ended. It's been a run of legendary proportions. Got two guests here today, you know, that's gonna be a part of this episode. Uh, before we introduce these two, uh, I want to let y'all know the Rep Your Kicks event is March 14th. It's gonna be a real dope event. Half of the proceeds is going to the class and the school with the most representatives. And then we're gonna have, you know, dope giveaways, you know, dope raffles, you know, uh, actual trophy giveaway to the best sneak at the event, uh, best collection. So, you know, somebody. In St. Louis, the best collection, you know, support them so they can win that, so they can win that trophy and the other prizes come along with that. And your customizers, bring out your best custom, so we so we can see who the best customizer is in St. Louis and they can win that trophy. But yeah, we just trying to bring up some new and different, you know, situations and fun, fun things for St. Louis. And I hope everybody enjoy what we what we bring it to you. So I'm gonna go to my right. And I'm, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Uh, name's Adam. Instagram Sneaker Junkie eighty nine. Uh, just really here to support the movement. Honestly, you know, uh, I think St. Louis sneaker culture is like probably one of the most underrated. You know, because we're so underground. Mm -hmm. So I think this is like the best thing possible. Uh, you know. Right to my left. I'm let him introduce himself. Hey, right, what's up, y'all? I'm Cortez. Follow me at Instagram at DJ underscore YOSTL, man. I'm here with my dude, Mark, supporting the movement. Take over sneakerheads. Make sure y'all use that hashtag. I also help blog with the website and all of that, too, man. So make sure y'all check us out. Make sure y'all support St. Louis and the sneaker movement. It's time for us to be on the map, all right? Yeah, most def. Uh, this episode, you know what I'm saying, like, over the past couple months, I've been seeing, but the past few months, I've been seeing a lot of craziness going around with uh, fakes, unauthorized authentics, and scammers. So I felt like this first episode would be uh, very well to talk about that one. All right, first, you know what I mean, we have here a size five and a half, legend blue. I, I guess you could say unauthorized, authentic, fake, whatever you want to call it. It's not what it's supposed to be. Uh, it looks pretty much on point when you when you look at it, you know what I'm saying, offhand. But if you look <coughs> at the jump man right here, the stitching, you know, stitching on there is horrible. You know what I mean? The stitching on there is horrible. The jump man is way too high. It's not lined up in the middle of the 23 like it should be. This ain't, it ain't straight across. It actually has stitching. This one isn't straight across as well. If you see these on side of each other, they're not same level. The jump man is not same level. They sit in different levels. Yo, that's so crazy. <clears throat> so, we finna go. The front different too, like. And we finna let Sneaker Junkie 89, check him out. He finna give his take on, on this prayer. And then they gonna give that DJ OSTL. I mean, like you said, you said it right. I mean, they passed the look test. But there is, you know, I guess there's just smaller things that you can just see. Like you said, the stitching is off. The stitching is off on the jump, man, for sure. And then at the same time, even when you look at the bottom and they clear the sole, like the jump, man. Right. That's not how the jump man looks on the bottom of the so, sole, you know. But yeah, like into to to the naked eye, just by a quick glance, you would think that they were real. You really would. But there's just certain things like even and even with the stitching on how the jump man is stitched. Right. Like it doesn't look, it doesn't look as clean. So let's see what. First thing that jumped out at me was, to me, the front of them looked really weird. Like, it's real narrow. 
And it's more like rounded out on the originals, the real thing. And like even with the stitching, like the jump man got a belly dude. Like <laughs> he got a little bulge there. It's not cool. It's not cool. <laughs> just say it. <laughs> <laughs> and then even on the bottom, like it just like somebody took a pen and like drew it on. That's crazy. Like the soul looks pretty good. Yeah, that, like, that's yeah, the soul. The icy blue. Blue. It's icy blue. Yeah, the icy blue. Mm -hmm. You turn it up, side down. You, they like, got that. <laughs> even the either the the kind carbon. Of carbon. Yeah, then, like, this is crooked. Like the label right here. Like, yeah, it's crooked. crooked. That's crazy. All right, we just went over the GS Legend Blue Eleven unauthorized fake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now we have an adult size, I guess you would say size 11 and a half. Um, this one stands out a little bit more for us, the fakeness quality compared to the GS. Um, honestly, the dirtiness of the midsole is, is a major issue uh, with this shoe. Um, not just the major, like you can tell by feeling on certain parts of that inside of the shoe it's like loose it doesn't it doesn't feel like it'd be comfortable wearing also on top of that if you get a look at the toe box how rounded off the toe box is if you if you remember like back in the day when you used to see them them horrible horrible fake oh, yeah. 11s it had that toe box that bulge over like that you know what exactly. I mean that's how that that's how that cool. looks market special and then it doesn't have the leather on the back here this is this has to be like some type of vinyl how it's creasing and rippling up you know what I mean that shouldn't have been like that with it never been worn it had no shoe tree in there I actually had to I was gonna actually have to put the boxes together myself which that should never happen and never you should never have to put your boxes together you should never have to your shoes should never come in a bag like this and then he plastic. And then your jump man still is not well in shape. For real. Like it's I mean like that's 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 crazy. And then once again it's just like you look at the back, look at the bottom of the sole, it's good. But then you look at the jump man and the detail in the jump man just looks like a, a chalk outline almost like And what's crazy. Your carbon about fiber is not your carbon fiber at least. <laughs> Like it looks like polka dots. It does look like it's just a little <laughs> like polka dots or something, like a pattern. That's so, I mean, I mean, yeah, at first glance, you would think, you would think these are definitely legit, but it's just too, it's too, it's too, it's a fan of new shoe smell. And these don't smell like new shoes. They smell <laughs> like, like the glue they use, like it's weird, whatever the smell is. And then, like again, like the jump man, he's fat because they didn't stitch it right. The toe is like very rounded. At first glance, like if somebody had these on, like and you just walking past them, they'd get away with it. But up close and personal, no. They got like a gangster lean to them, like it's leaning. <laughs> it's weird. You might think they OG because that because of the discoloration. Yeah, you might think they were OG because this on the this mid, just like you said the midsole is right. It's real dirty and grimy right looking. Up in there. <laughs> Even all of this is like dirty and grimy. Yeah, like, I got the I got the real things. In. When mine came out the box, they did not look like that. It looked like somebody took some kind of. Egg like cleaner, and, you know how to, you clean and it turns yellow after yeah, like you use baking soda. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And these are supposed to be new, but it shouldn't happen. Now they do, they get the soul right every time, except for the jump man in the middle. And maybe the cor carbon fiber. It looked like they painted that on. Yeah, that's like paint and polka dots. Wow. That's crazy. So... We see the shoe, we know it's not real. You know what I mean? What is y'all what is y'all take on this shoe? If y'all want y'all can go tag team on it back and forth. I mean, obvious. You can tell as soon as you put it out the box, the toe boxes. 
It's finished, bro. It's leaning. It's not stitched up all the way. I mean, right? It's, it's gross. The toe box is definitely the first. Damn but way. honestly, like off the first feel, like tumble leather feels yeah. softer than so, that. Yeah, yeah, this look this real hard. This, this is a hard leather shoe. Yeah. Just touching it, I mean, like, looking at it, you can tell it's not like soft premium leather. They would do way better. Like, you see the glue. Yeah, the glue. Off of this and green. Green. And you know, everybody knows Supreme is a on detail. Mm -hmm. They take pride in these stuff. Too. Even this is like crooked. It's like going up and then it's not arch. Right. From the shoes I've seen in Supreme Forces, this, this is arch in the back. I don't think they come with this. Well, a lot yeah. of shoes that, that do come from China. Like, I've been seeing the Tokyo Files, I've been seeing like on review. I don't I own them personally, but I've seen authentic pair come. You know, I would say, those yeah, tabs. those, because those, I mean, but those are like a, a you, those, those are a, a Tokyo release only. Like, those right. had to come. Like, these, there were places in like Keith stores and places yeah. in New York who got these, and right. like, but like, I guess, I guess who the guy <laughs> was going through, I guess he was going through everybody that was overseas. Mm. Yeah, this is like, but the, I, this is extremely light compared yeah, for for Air Force One for Air really, Force One high top. The I sole mean. alone like is very heavy on the floor, so this shoe is really light. Like, and most of the time when they do something like that, they have a, like a. Now this patent leather, leather in the back. I did the Supreme come with those? Was it yeah, patent? Yeah, it had pen, but this isn't like. A, yeah, this feel like plastic or something. The stitching, <laughs> the stitching on the back is like. It's really bad. It's really bad. And even like I said, the Supreme in the back, like I'm pretty sure that was like really It was hard. more of an arch, for That's, sure. And it's like a line. Yeah. And when and the thing was that is not I was either. sent I was sent all authentic pictures. So he had to have either had the authentic pair or took somebody authentic pictures. But I think he had the authentic pair and just sent me the bullets. The bogus, the bogus shoes. Ain't thing to me. They smell. The smell stands out really bad. Whatever glue they use stinks. Um, like on mine, the sole has like little nicks in it. These little balls of whatever the sole is coming out. Again, like he said, like Adam said, the eye tester in the past, if you was just walking through the mall and saw somebody with them on, the jump man doesn't have really, he slimmed out a little bit on here. Yeah. But the stitching is still, still coming all out. It's not how it's supposed to look. This is kind of small to me as well. The symbol on the back. And then again, the jump man under here, he has a belly again. Even the man inside the shoe, it's kind of dark, so the camera might not get it. But he has a belly as well. If you can see that. It's it up a little bit. That shouldn't happen. And it's, it's bad. And the leather feels very hard. This part that should be like suede, it feels like, like cardboard. It's not good. The, light is bad. <laughs> the fact that they said the light will have to. Nah. Yeah. Carbon fiber. Again, looks like somebody took permanent markers and drew circles in them. And again, the glue. All about lined and ground up. So, that's not good. What else to say, man? It's not good. But it will pass the eye test. I would say if somebody was walking around the mall and I just glanced at them, you know, I'd be like, dang, they got the they got it. But you can't be like give them props. <laughs> but I mean, that's what that's what fakes are meant to do. They're meant to <laughs> get compliments. But yeah, they give you compliments. <laughs> they get you compliments. If somebody like like to pulled your card and was like all on you. Now they want to be yeah. If somebody is just like look at them now. It, it, so it's gonna change. I mean, even with the label, the label is completely just doesn't feel like no label should have. It's clear on the. I mean, it's clear on the back. Like I mean, it, 
this is barely sticky, but this has no adhesive, and this typically <coughs> has some sort of adhesive. I don't know. That's. Me, my nigga, stay, stay, loyal, loyal. Me, my nigga, stay, Thankful. stay, loyal, loyal. Me, my niggas, we stay, Thankful for still being here. Loyal. Me, my niggas, we stay, stay. Gangsta Grizzil! It's been a hell of a run. Could've been ended.